Hey everyone, Braden here for gshelper.com, and this is part three in the new table function videos. Uh, last time we talked about the table search function and how powerful that new function is. It allows us to, of course, search a table for a specific key, and it will return the row or column that um, that specific key is in. That's extremely powerful. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video tutorials, I would go back and watch those as the concepts that were introduced in those beginning uh, tutorials carry over to all of the tutorials in this series. Today we're going to be talking about the column and row number function. Now what does this allow us to do? Let's go home and into the tables and into the merge table. You'll see that we have five rows and five columns and each column and row can be named or labeled. Um, and what this function allows us to do is find a specific column or row uh, that has a specific uh, label. So if we wanted to find which column had the label barking, we could use this function to find that. We could also find the row. So if we wanted to find the row that had the label game salad, we could do that. Now this is a very, uh, a very basic function, and I'll go into the column number actor. I have three display text behaviors. I'll turn the first one off because that one's just for previewing. It shows me which actor does what. Um, you'll see we have two display text behaviors remaining and the first one is using the table column number and it's looking in the merge table for the label barking. And the second one is the table row number. It's looking again in the merge table and looking for the label game salad. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the second display text behavior uh, and drag in a new one and we are going to build this from scratch. Okay, so we're going to insert the function table column number. Now don't get this confused with table column count that also gives you uh, how many uh, it gives you a number of how many columns are in a table. Uh, we actually need to input the table column count. Alright, again, for table, we always do this. We go table, merge, and the label. If you're looking for a word, you have to make sure to put this in quotes. So, barking. If you're looking for a number, um, like if the, let's say, column 1 had the label of 7, you, there's no need to put quotes around the number 7, just put the number 7. So as you can see, it's very easy, very easy to set up. Um, I'll go ahead and make the position 100 pixels above this actor and give it a quick color. And let's see if this works. All right, so you can see that it uh, gives us a value of 5. So let's go into our table and see if column 5 does have the label barking. So I'll go back into our actor, and if we wanted to find the number 4, uh, for example, we would just type in 4, no need for the quotes, and it gives us a value of 4, which can be confusing because it's in column 4, uh, but you see the label is 4. So that's how you use the table column number. Let's go ahead and look at the table row number. I'll drag in a display text behavior, open up the expression editor, and we're going to insert the table column number. Not the table column number, <laughs> that was last time. The um, table row number, I'm sorry. All right, for table, game.merge, row label, game salad. And we'll make this. Um, negative 100 for the Y position I'll give it a quick color and as you can see it returns a value of 1 if we go into the merge table and row 1 so that's how you use the table row number and table column number functions I hope this was helpful to you guys and we'll see you in the next video